Okay, and what's your name? Tierra. <laughs> okay, so you're my sister Tierra. And what are we doing here today? We're making my PC. Yes, we are. And what's the main reason for your build? Like, what are you doing it for? School mm -hmm. and stupid games. I got it. So, like, what types of games are you going to be playing? So that way they know, like, spec-wise. Seven Days to Die. Mm-hmm. So basically just stuff that's not going to be real, like, you know, video intensive. It's not going to be too crazy. So, this is what we're going to be doing here. We have a couple different parts. First one here is going to be the Ryzen 5. It's by AMD. This is the 2600, 6 core, 12 thread processor, 3.9 gigahertz max boost of uh, 3.4 base. So that's cool. We got that. We have the B450 Pro motherboard. So that's fun. So we have a compatibility with uh, the AMD chip, which is going to be cool. We have this awesome solid state drive here. And that's about a terabyte worth of Samsung VNAT SSD. It's nice. We have the Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB white 16 gig, 32 megahertz RAM. Windows 10. And then we have the uh, Radon RX 590. Uh, it's a Sapphire, so we're gonna use this. So that way, pretty much anything that she wants to throw at it, we'll be able to make sure it can work because it's got the eight gigs of the DDR5. Uh, hi, are you gonna help? <laughs> power everything here, we have the EVGA Supernova 550G3. So we got that gold power standard, so it's going to be good. So Tira's going to be the one that's doing the build. I'm just going to give her the instructions on how to do it and hope that she doesn't break her PC. So. Well, I, I, I hope not. Okay, so what we're going to do here, you get to choose how you want to put this together. What component are you fascinated by that you would like to pop in there first and get to know a little better right away. This is your first build ever, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, because um, I really want to see this. Okay. That's not a problem. We can definitely do RAM first. When you're thinking of building a computer, mm -hmm. think adult Legos. That's literally what this is. <laughs> it's just puzzle. adult adult Legos. It's a puzzle. You'll notice that on the pins themselves, there's like a little divot right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. On here... It. Yes, there's a little notch right there. So you're going to want to line that notch up with one of those. Don't be nervous. Yep. Bingo. Look at that. Yes. Boom. You successfully installed your first RAM sticks. Woo! Congratulations. And. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I spent that extra coin. <laughs> Sweet, so we got RAM in, fantastic. You got your first install of RAM, and it went pretty good. You didn't break anything, so that's fantastic. Yeah, okay. yeah, we don't want to break anything. Now, what component would you like to install next? This. Let's do it now before I get the dropsies. So yeah, please. <laughs> so this right here, this is the most important piece. That is your processor. If you look at the top left corner, you should see a a little arrow, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now look at your processor and tell me if you see a little arrow. Right here. Yes, the arrow's right there. So perfect. So that's exactly how you're going to want to line that up. So it makes it nice and easy for you. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go ahead, make sure that that's up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be your locking hinge for your socket. And then you're just going to plop that right in place. It's okay if you can, yep. Yeah. You can look at it from the side just to make sure everything's nice and flush. You know what to do next. It might give you a little bit of a um, little tension, but that's okay. That means it's locking in. Yeah, no, it's very smooth. There you go. And you just installed the brain of your computer. That's perfect, good job. Good job, baby. Yeah! Thing to keep in mind when we're gonna be installing the remaining components is the cabling now. As we see here, we have a little lead cable that's coming out of here to actually power the fan. So you're going to want to look at that four pin connection. Oh, CPU fan CPU one. CPU fan one. Oh. Focus. So it's, it's kind of funky putting these in. It almost feels like you're breaking shit when you're doing this, okay? Mm -hmm. But you ever change a car tire? 
and you have the star pattern because you want to make sure that everything is nice and even. You don't want to go down all the way and then go to the other side. It's the same thing with this. Now, how far do you go down with the screws? Um, yep, just till they're bottom down. Oh, it seats? Mm hmm. Nice. Yep, it'll yeah. seat nice and you'll know exactly when to stop. Perfect. Good. Nice and tight. Fantastic. You got the cooler in. So that's great. So now your PC is going to run nice and cool. I can tell that your thermal paste is nice and seated correctly, so that's, that's really good. You're not going to have a problem with that. So, with the system fan, we don't got to worry about any cable management right now. We can do a little bit, but whatever. Okay, fantastic. Good job. Proud of you. So, IO shield, IO stands for input, output. So that's exactly what this is. And your inputs and outputs are all on the side here, right? So if we know that that's gonna be on the side, where do you think the motherboard, yeah, exactly. And where do you think the motherboard is gonna be in the computer so that these are poking out the right way? Here. Exactly, yeah, so it's gonna poke out right the back. That's exactly where you're gonna to wanna to put that stuff. Careful, those are sharp as fuck for no reason. No reason at all. <laughs> okay, we're popping that IO shield in now, and it will click into place. Again, big boy Legos. That's really all it is. I think that. It's, yeah, I think you're. I think you got it. There we go. Now it's. There it is. Sweet. So this has to match up to this. We're going to install the Samsung solid state drive because it conveniently. There's two spots for solid states on this thing. There's one that's right there, and then there's this one over here. So this one, the board's gonna be in front of, so we don't want that. So we want the one on that side, because it's gonna be a SATA port. So it's gonna be one of these guys. Then you're gonna start threading these little guys in. As long as you get one in there, you can start doing the others. Okay, we be done. Cool. Sweet, good job. So now you got the solid state in. Are you ready to put your motherboard and everything else into the actual case itself? Yes. Okay. You see where these pins are sticking up here? So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six, I see. Yeah. So go ahead and um, pop them there and we'll come back when you're done. Okay, so we did a couple things here. This fan doesn't necessarily fit here up against the motherboard, but we're gonna see what we can do with that at the end here. Yeah, we can do a little bit of cable management at this point. Um, and that's what we'll do, that's what we'll do here. All right, we're gonna get that motherboard cable in now. It actually fully, I pushed it down. Oh, okay. So it's actually clipped in. Yeah, now it's more flush. Okay, so cool, we got that cable in. Let's see what the, your graphics card looks like. Try to be careful. Oh, oh. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> done and done. Can I take off the shiny? Sure. <laughs> Should have probably taken that off before. You say you were the one with love and the sun. Well, I know that I need you, sweet, that I just can't be. We finagled a couple things up here. All the cables go behind. We got the fan in and everything, so everything's looking pretty clean so far. Everything is just gonna get plugged into the power supply now. And then pop the power supply in. Make sure everything's flush. Make sure that the case closes. And now we're just onto this cable management. Just trying to get the case to close the right way. Then hoping that we'll be able to get this thing powered up. So do you think it's going to turn on? First run. Confident? Okay. All right, so now you go ahead and hit that big button.
Okay, so it's completely done. Your PC's done. How was your first build? Your very first PC build. Are you happy with what you got? I did it! What was the hardest part about the build? Like for you as somebody who's never done it before? Hmm? Waiting. Waiting for what? To take the next step. Oh. <laughs> you suck at this. No. 